Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a first impressions on the new Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzing Essence and on their new Pyramid blushes that they just re released. These are $11 each. There's only these two colors. I picked both of them up. And this is the only color of this, and it is $16. Also, I don't know if it was something special that was going on, but I placed my order on Friday, probably around like nine o'clock last Friday, right around nine o'clock in the morning. And I had all three of these things at my door by noon the next day. That's faster than Amazon. I mean, I couldn't believe it, but I don't know if that was just last week or what, or if they have stupid, super awesome fast shipping, or maybe I just live really close. I have no idea, but it was awesome. So let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start with the Heat Wave bronzing, uh, bronzing Essence. You can use this a couple different ways. You can mix it in with a moisturizer, with a serum. You can put it directly on your face with nothing just to have like a bronzed skin look. And you can put it in with your foundation, which is what I'm going to do. And then after I put it in with my foundation and put my foundation on, I'm going to try and put it right onto my skin in my cheek areas and around my forehead just as a bronzer instead of using a powder bronzer. I'm going to try this as a liquid bronzer. So let's see how that works out. And I'm first going to take it and put it on my hand so that you can see it blended out. It's actually really dark. There is only one color too. Like this is it. See how dark that is. But with mixed in with a foundation or a moisturizer, it's obviously going to lighten up. Okay, so let's try the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I am going to take just the tiniest bit. Oh, well, that wasn't a tiny bit, but hey, we'll go for it. And, ah, that's mixing way better. I don't know what was going on with that other stuff. That's weird. Okay. So that definitely darkened it up a little bit. You see that? It actually mixed really well with this. I'm going to put this all over my face. Okay. And I'm going to use a beauty blender, beauty sponge, not a beauty blender, to... Place. I already had um, I already had under eye concealer under my eyes, but that was the only thing that was on my face because I have really, really bad dark circles and nobody needs to see that. Okay, I think <laughs> that, that darkened that foundation up a lot. But it looks good. I don't think it looks too bronzy. I think it actually looks really good. And it definitely blended out really well. Like, really well. I'm really surprised. Okay. Well, there is that. Okay. So now I am going to put a tiny bit on my beauty blender. Tiny bit is never a tiny bit. It always ends up being way too much. I'm just going to dot that there and dot that there. Oh, I actually kind of really like that. Yep, I definitely think this is a winner. This is just my first time using it, so I will have to use it a couple more times to really let you know how well I like it or not, but... Definitely first impressions I like. All right, I'm gonna put it around my forehead, dot it around there, and then blend it out. Oh, got my hair in there. Yep, I definitely really like this. Extra over on this side. <laughs> That's gross. Oh, 
Can you tell? I think you can tell. And then around my forehead, excuse all my nasty wrinkles. Good lord, they're bad today. Powder the face, where's my powder? Here's my powder. Okay, so now for the main reason why I wanted to make this video and the main reason why I wanted to place the Order of Flower Beauty are for these two, um, their new pris prism pyramid blushes. The one is in um, peach glow and then the other one is in rose glow. Hopefully that stops. Okay, so now I'm back. I put some mascara, some eyeshadow, I did my eyebrows off camera, and put some stuff on my lips. Um, I am going to go back and put a little bit more of this directly onto my skin, because I think that that might help deepen it up a little bit more of like a, a contour, and see how that does. Because it definitely is really pretty, I like it, I just want it a little bit deeper. And I think that is perfect. I actually really like this. I have dry skin, so the fact that I can have a cream or a liquid bronzer and it work like this, I love it. It's great. Okay, so now let's get back to the blushes because I am super excited about these. I am going to try the pink one, the rose, rose glow. I like that one the best, but I'm going to swatch both of them. So there's like four different color, four, one, two, three, four, four, yes, four, four different colors in each one of these pans. And you can either swirl them all together or I guess pick whatever color it is that you like the best and put that on your cheeks. But it's kind of like a highlighter and a blush together, which I definitely love. There is the rose glow and this is the peach glow. Let me swatch both of them. I'm just going to rub my finger in them together which i probably should not have just done that because i just kind of destroyed it okay okay that is the peach glow look at that holy cow that is super super intense all right i am going to try something different and use this Okay, so we just did the Peach Glow, which is this one right here. This is the Peach Glow. And then this one is the Rose Glow. Actually, I was going to do the Rose Glow, but I think I like the Peach Glow better. So that's the one I'm going to use today. I am just going to get my highlight. Oh, not my highlighter. My blush brush. I just kind of tap it in here because swirling it looks like it might ruin it. Mm, I love this. I'm definitely super excited. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Look at that. And now you don't even need a highlighter because it is completely highlighted. And there's the peach color. Can you see both sides? Yes, you can. Oh my God. I'm definitely excited. But again, there's the peach one. I can get it in the camera right and then there is the rose one okay so I put a setting spray on everything set down I'm just gonna give you my final thoughts on things I really do like this I think this would be great for in the summertime when I want to be more bronzed for all over my face but for now I definitely really like it for in here for as my contour and around my face for as my bronzer but in the winter time I don't really need it to bronze my face but I definitely do think it's a good product. And if you have a foundation that is too light for you, you can use it to mix in with your foundation to make the foundation darker and help it fit your skin color better. I think this would be perfect for that. These, definitely what I thought they were going to be. I love these. If you like a highlight and a blush, these are perfect together, two in one. I think they're beautiful. Like, I, I, think, it's, I think it's amazing. I think the only downside is that there's only two colors. I wish they had more because I would get every color. 
All right. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you in my next video.